Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file, but we're actually going to be doing a character showcase today. We're going to be doing the Sheriff, which is a new character that just popped up recently, and it seems very, very interesting. I know we're on a streak at the minute, but I can edit myself the streak back if need be for the series, but yeah, we we have a little, little pistol here, so kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. We can like reload and then like quick fire our shots. Um, I'm interested to see how our stats are affected. We've also got quick draw here to spam out all of our bullets. Really, really interesting idea for a character. I mean, adding just adding in something like a character that has a gun is interesting. I'm actually kind of surprised to see it doesn't have piercing off the bat, but I suppose that would be quite powerful. Oh, the sound effect's really nice as well. I thought like, oh, uh, maybe a gun's going to be quite loud and a little bit irritating, but it's not too bad. So you kind of want to play it a little bit careful in terms of like, sort of how you fire, because you don't want to I, I, I read in the description that if you fire while you're at um, low ammo, like zero ammo, you, you'll do less damage, I think. Or at least you'll fire slower. So we've got to kind of play it a little bit slow to reload. We do all, all automatically reload um, if we slow down our shot sort of thing. I'm interested to see how this pairs with like tier modifiers and stuff. Apparently there is some custom synergies as well. I mean, good old box of spiders to start us out is not bad at all. But yeah, there is some custom synergies. Obviously there won't be a ton with modded items, but we'll see what we can see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm down to clown with this guy. He seems really, really interesting. Also, stylistically too, I just really like the way this character looks. Looks really, really nice. And yeah, the idea of this this sort of quick fire shooter here, great. I, I can imagine this getting real wacky with like bouncy shots and stuff. And also as well, like obviously you have really good shot speed, which is kind of strange considering our shot speed stat is still default. So I imagine we can increase this bullet speed even further than it currently is. Now, I don't really need to use my quick draw all that much at the moment. I'm guessing that's going to be something that I use on, like, big enemies, champions, bosses, things like that. Beautiful stuff. Ho-ho! Uh, we've seen our item room, so let's, let's go in here and just quick draw the boss. I really like that. It's a really cool idea, and it seems to recharge fairly quick as well. I'm, I bet there's some, like, really good synergies with quick draw as well. Like, imagine Tech Zero with that widespread... A little bit of piercing on it as well to do, like, a whole lot of damage right at once. Ah, bugger. Walked right into that one. Alright, let's wait for that ammo to replenish. I need to get rid of this guy. He's setting everything on fire and being a nuisance. Ah, bugger. I fired all my shots right as he moved. But yeah, I always like doing character showcases when something comes around that I'm really interested in. So I'll be honest, there's a few character showcases that I could do that I haven't done recently. Like, there's a few characters that I've seen that I quite like. I need to get back to doing these. They are a lot of fun. Ooh. Do you know what I need to get back to doing? Not taking damage. There you go. There we got him. It's these little buggers that have really made it more difficult, to be honest. Some extra HP. Ain't bad at all. We'll go down this way, see if... Yeah, no, oh, there is a curse, but it's not as ha harsh of a curse if we go down this way, so... I'd rather take this. Curse of Decay isn't so bad. Yeah, honestly, we want to be using Quick Draw pretty much every room, I think. I love it. Yeah, I'm really looking for some fire rate increases here. I think that's going to be a huge improvement for us. Oh my god. And hopefully we see at least one of the custom synergies. Now, I will say that because we're using modded items, there's a chance we don't see any. But I think this character will still work with other synergies anyways. I think, I'm guessing tier modifiers will still affect um, our gun regardless. So, we will still see some modded effects sort of happening. See what's got going on in our item room here. I'm going to take the random. I want to take our chances at getting um, potential of the synergies. And we got a little Chad. It's not anything great, but it's useful at least. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, uh, I was like, that was a bouncy shot there. It's because of these. Uh huh. And I have also heard that the bullets do have fall-off damage, like, as in, like, the further we are away from the enemy, the less damage they do, so... Yeah, you can kind of see how the colour changes as the, uh, as the bullet travels. So we've got to be a little bit wary. What the hell happened to that guy? We've got to be a little bit wary of the fact that we kind of want to treat it like a shotgun, kind of, and, and get real up close to enemies to, uh, get the full effectiveness of the pistol. Right, let's fully reload. And again, we just go in, barrel stuff, and quick draw. Honestly, the damage isn't that great, but that's probably a good thing. I mean, the idea of a gun in Isaac is always something that's kind of, like, memed on. And it's like, oh, it's going to be something really overpowered. This is actually okay. 
I'm having a bit of a hard time with this guy, mainly because of this poop here, to be honest. And this one. I'm doing surprisingly well at dodging so far. We've managed to spawn a lot of uh, very annoying poops so far. Okay, I used quick draw at the worst time, then I had no ammo loaded. Ah, fuck, I finally got hit. Oh god, oh my god, don't lose the devil deal, please. This is tough, man. You've been a tricky guy. But this, this quick draw here should kill him. Oh, not quite. But close. There you go, we got it. We got ourselves some Jesus juice. Oh! No way! The mi- <laughs> The fucking mini Isaac has a gun! <laughs> I have no idea if that's like intentional or just like by the product of the way that it works, but that is absolutely beautiful. The mini Isaac has a gun. That's incredible. Anyways, let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. Overall, we've not got a great run going on these first few floors yet, but there's plenty of time for the uh, the run to evolve. There's also plenty of time for me to lose my angel deals. Go! Go, my little lad. Shoot. Okay. I do need some more HP. I, I unfortunately lost my um, my early soul hearts pretty quickly. Pretty stupidly as well. Okay, nice. At least we get some HP back. Chad is going to keep us nice and healthy, hopefully. Okay, nice. And... Well, again, we'll take random here. Ooh, we got booster box. Oh, booster box is very incredible. Chance to use cards on hitting and on killing enemies. It it can be obscenely overpowered. We got temperance, not temperance. We got beggar. Uh, we got flight in that room as well. We got the world card. Although, sadly, the world card doesn't really matter so much. <laughs> I love this quick draw. I love this quick draw. I love my little mini Isaac with the gun. He's got wings. He's got a gun. He's the best lad you've ever seen. Hoping for a worm trinket here. No worm trinket, sadly. Got unlucky. Beautiful. Try and fill up this burn heart before we lose it. Hopefully, little Chad gives us uh, something to work with on that. We've got a lot of extra damage going on from our box of uh, our box of stuff, box of spiders. Allows you to take one devil deal room for free. Still affects the room chance. I guess we'll take it. It's not particularly a bad thing for us, is it? Haha! <laughs> you just walked into all my spiders, my guy. Bad move by you. <laughs> I love it! He's so speedy! Look at him go! Um, unfortunately, that's not great for us. I will go to our shop and, and grab some money to make that a little more valuable. I'll, I'll pop this as well, why not? Puberty, that's fine. Have we seen our shop yet? I don't remember. We're hoping that booster pack, uh, booster box, sorry, gives us some good stuff here. Um, using a card has a 10% chance of granting an eternal heart. Now, if that works with booster box, this is going to be real overpowered. Um, I don't know if it will. I don't know if it, if, if uh, booster box technically counts in the code as you having used a card, or if it just gives you the effect of said card. But that could be rather interesting, and I'm, I'm intrigued to find out, I'll be honest. I'm very intrigued to find out. Ah, oh, fuck's sake.
We lost our mini guy. God damn it. It does seem to use the card, or at least it looked like it there. You throw that wherever you want to throw that. Oh, fuck, I lost the burn heart. God damn it. What we got here? Birth certificate. One time use consumes all your currently held trinkets, teleports you into a special area that contains many trinkets along with some other pickups. You can choose as many trinkets as you can hold and teleport out. So basically you can choose any trinket we want. That's pretty cool and all, but I think I'm pretty interested in this trinket that we've just got and seeing how that works. Right. I mean, I guess I'll give you a heart. <laughs> it's not very valuable, but there you go. Right, where are we going again? I think it's down this way. Okay. Hey, double damage up. That's real nice. Shot speed up's kind of interesting, and look upgrade's fine by me. Okay, not too, not too displeased by that at all. The plus one damage is very nice. Um, we, we kind of needed some extra damage. Oh, that guy just jumped right on top of me. Luckily, I have literally no money to give him. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time with some of these enemies, you know. We got a tinted rock just here. No! Curse of Rebirth! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, nice. That guy went down pretty quick. I'm loving this. This is so, such a fun character. This is not a fun situation to be in, though. I mean, thank God for a little chat, otherwise we'd be really having problems right now. Yeah, another tinted rock there. Ah, oh, that bouncy shot hit me, God damn it! Don't you respawn. Fuck's sake. <laughs> we are going to need a lot of bombs to keep ourselves alive here. Honestly, I love using quick draw, it's so entertaining. Reload a little bit. No carrots. No. I'm gonna be at half a heart. I think. Okay, we got some healing there. Although I would have preferred the mini Isaacs, I'll be honest. Yeah, we can kind of angle our shots a little bit. Not really though. Hey, another damage up. Wow, that was surprising. These guys are double respawning. Ugh. The way that these guys move. Excuse me. The way these guys move dis disturbs me. Anyway, we are quick to the draw here. Lots and lots of difficult enemies here. Temperance. I'm still waiting for that potential of a, of a soul heart. Sorry, eternal heart payout from using one of these cards. Who knows if it'll ever happen, but... I don't know, the chances, the chances are there, and I, I, I want to I wanna roll those dice and see. Nice. We do have that temperance machine if you want to use that. Did that hurt me? Seriously? Doesn't matter then, I guess. There's a bee stuck on the doorway, I didn't realise it damaged me. Good old Stephen Floor, I don't think we we're, uh, we're needing that right now. Thank god I don't care about my angel deal, right? I was lying. I do care. We definitely need a fire rate increase. A fire rate right now is uh, not great. <laughs> We're basically relying on quick draw to deal fa like anything decent in terms of damage at speed. Good. 
25, uh, 2.5% chance to fire a spectral tear with, uh, which teleports enemies to different locations of the room. That seems dangerous. Got him. Back to full health again. Dude, Chad, you are, you are like the most clutch pickup of this run. I'd be so dead right now if it wasn't for you. Got the chariot there for no reason. Might reload. Ow, get hit again. I'm just I'm just making sure chance useful. We get pointy rib, which is probably pretty useful to be honest. It's a little bit of extra damage to go with our gun. Don't mind it at all. <laughs> right, let's try and zoom out of this floor now. God damn. The struggle bus is real, people. The struggle bus is real. Ah, oh, wait. I forgot. No, that's not what I wanted at all. 4% chance to fire a fire mine tier, 1% chance to fire explosive tier. Okay, that's more appealing to me. Just because of potential chance for synergy. I know 4% and 1% aren't exactly great odds. I feel like it's not bad. <laughs> that was insane. I did fire a fire mind one then, it looked pretty awesome. First on toast, more damage. Our damage just keeps climbing, baby. We've, we've barely got any damage items, but we're getting more and more things to give us damage. Beautiful. Honestly, pointy rib is going to be uh, heavily relied on here, I think. Right, lost that soul heart immediately. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I think Angel Deal's probably going to be kind of unlikely for us, uh, based on my current play. We got Fortune, which restarted the room. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Trying to use Pointy Rib where I can. Hey, good old fireman shot there. We get another mini Isaac with a gun. Fuck yes. This room's gonna be horrible. Go, mini Isaac. I need you to. You need to be my knight in shining armor here, because I can't do it. <laughs> Point blank range him, yes. Okay, that was rough. Come on, item room. This floor. We know. Dude, mini Isaacs. Mini Isaacs with guns. Might be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It's so good. Speed balls. More shot speed. Black sack as a reward. Nice. Tinted rock I didn't see. Nice. Like that gave us not much the Right, Soul Heart, please. Yeah, baby. Okay. Feeling slightly more confident on the Angel deal now. I am indeed. <laughs> I really like the idea, like, with this character of sort of that fall off damage to make sure playing like, a l playing at range really isn't too advantageous. You've got to still get up in there. It's a good way of balancing a, a character with a gun. The lovers. Trying to use pointy rib where I can here, because it's pretty goddamn useful. Hoping this is the way to the boss. No! Justice, it plays the key in the only place I can't get it as well, you bastard. Lovely. Now that we've got pointy rib helping us with damage, I think we're A-OK. -okay. I think that was like the missing ingredient. Hey, explosivo shot! Amazing, there you go. Sticky bullet. 
I wonder what Brimstone does with this guy, because I'm sure that has a custom synergy. Probably Mum's Knife does as well. Kind of adds like a bayonet to it sort of thing. Beautiful stuff. We got ourselves our Angel Deal as well. Monstrance, it's actually pretty decent. It's not what I was hoping for, but I will accept it and be reasonably happy. We're going to be getting up close with enemies, so Pointy Rib plus Monstrance equals a good bit of extra damage, to be honest. Don't know what noise that was, but we got a lot of money out of that there. Where you at, where you at, where you at? Took out the whole room in one shebang there. Beautiful. Ah, oh, bugger. Um, blue key here. Blue key here. Green key was here. Did you move, sir? Red key. The red key's underneath him, I see. Okay, a little bit of a roundabout way of getting around that room, but we did it. Yeah, I'm liking this setup we got. Oop, got strength there. Point your plus monsters to stay up close and personal. Augment side damage of our gun. Tears accelerate. Ooh, I just want to see what this lo looks like. Haha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Obviously, it's not very useful, but visually, it's interesting. Got hit there as well. Getting hit a lot more than I should be, but that's just good old fashioned turtle playing like terrible. Just playing like crap. Oh, the Explosivo shot managed to latch onto that guy then. Nice. I wonder if I can increase that with luck or if that is static at 4 and 1%. I'm imagining it's static up. It's just stuck at what it's stuck at. Ah, fuck's sake. Bit of a death card, lovely. Quince is pretty nice. Unfortunately, we don't have an additional key for the shop here. That would have been good. It would have been good. Not in time for boss rush, I don't think, at least. They've been killing mum in 30 seconds, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just try and find the boss and get out of here. Oh my god. That was overwhelming. Yeah, I think Quince is going to be a big help as well. There's our key. Quickly go back to our shop and make sure it isn't anything amazing considering it's our last shop. Could get ourselves a cheeky, cheeky champion belt. You never know. Cheeky champion belt would be rather nice. Uh, PhD is pretty good, obviously. We'll take PhD. <gasps> PhD golden pill. PhD golden pill with three uses. <laughs> three of which were completely pointless. That's, that's pain. Truly, that is pain. Right, let's try and actually find the boss and get out of here. Speed up. Lovely. Speed up. I do like a th speed. Well, we froze that guy. Oh, Freezer Baby, I see. I was like, how the hell did we freeze that guy? But Freezer Baby spawned right at the end there. few extra of those. Yeah, Monstrance plus uh, thingy and our shots. Oh, the baby Isaac is so good. Think I remember how to do this? Yeah, I'm good. We good, we good. And here's the boss. Judgment. Look at that damage that we can output there. Amazing. 
How did that not hit you? Go, Mini Isaac. Fire your extra shots. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to take the negative here because I'd, I'd like some extra damage. Um, and we'll keep on going down. I'll be honest, I don't think we're going to live too long on this floor. But I think we've had a pretty good showcase of this guy so far. Like, we, we haven't found any of the unique synergies yet, but we can... If people really like him, I can always add him to the series and we can play him again. Ain't got nothing against that. So I don't know why these guys fade out and in. It's not how they're meant to work, but... It's what we gotta deal with. Okay, unfortunately, I have taken quite a bit of damage. But, Lil Chad has our back, as he always will and always does. Unfortunately, because he has his back, doesn't mean I'm not a moron. I'm trying to stay as close as possible to get that extra... Get those extra shots off, but unfortunately it's not always going to work. Either way, I think that's a pretty interesting showcase of this character, regardless of the fact that we didn't have an amazing run. Uh, like I said, if people want to see more of this, do let me know and I can add it to the series. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.